Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I've been in a conference today. I went to Pluralsight Live and I, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of takeaways and this might not be directly related to indie game development, but there's a lot of things that are that I think I had from, you know, from going to the conference that I think are really important to you. And one of them is, you know, simplicity and I, I always talk about simplicity, but you know, almost every speaker that was in that conference talk about how important simplicity was. And there were some leaders in there. There was a leader from Oracle who talked about, you know, working on very simple solutions for customers. There, there were way too many examples about simplicity that, you know, to, for me to tell you in, in five minutes, but you know, if I go back to, to what I wanted to explain to you in this video, is that you have to, you have to make games that are, that are simple and always start with a simple, you know, a simple idea and involve that idea as you, you learn about the experience, as you learn about your customer. So I'm not saying, you know, you need to make your game or your application, whatever it is that you're working on, based on what the customer is saying but it is very important for you to watch you know if you're if you're releasing a game and you have a beta game and you want somebody to try it have that game you know be tested by many people that haven't even seen your game before and before you go in and add hundreds of features to your game make sure that you're testing you know you might test two or three features have a small group of people test it get the response, analyze the response, use that data to improve your game. And, you know, if you don't make something simple, it's really hard to measure when you make something complicated. So that was a great takeaway from that conference. The other takeaway that I, that, you know, as I think about right now, that really resonated on me was, you know, working with teams and we tend to, you know, we want to go to an environment and we want to work in an environment if we're, if we have a team of developers, a, a team of indie game developers, and you know, you have to go to the job, you gotta be excited about it, you wanna collaborate with your team, you wanna be able to have that, you know, positive dynamic and that positive environment when you go into work where, you know, criticism is well accepted, where you can offer value, where, you know, everybody's empowered to make decisions and there was a there was a talk that basically talk a lot about this. It was basically broken out into three different categories. Each category represented a person, a person type. One was, you know, the person that was a little bit shy, that didn't really want to participate, that didn't really feel like people were listening to them. And then the person in the middle was more of the person that, that worked well with everybody. It had a lot of empathy for everybody where the first person didn't really have a lot of empathy because a lot of people didn't agree or didn't listen to that person and then there was the other edge of the spectrum where they, these were people that were called the assholes that's what she actually labeled and I'll put her information in the description of this video but but the, the, the people that were the assholes they were the people that were the bullies those were the people that everybody basically was following because they didn't want to feel like they they weren't involved or they didn't want to feel like they were basically they didn't, didn't weren't part of the crowd and I'm, I'm i'm pretty i'm pretty certain that a lot of you have experienced this where you have you know you have the people that talk a lot and they make a lot of noise you have some people that really don't talk a lot but they're really really smart they're really really brilliant and you have these people that are kind of in the middle. So what I, what I really wanna, want, want to tell you in this video is to, to make sure that you become the person in the middle. Try to always be you know, as humble as you can, offer value, accept criticism, make sure that you're asking people around for feedback. Don't be the one that is just pretending to know it all and just keep, keep yourself things to yourself because in the long term, you know, and, and what makes me successful and what makes me happy is when I get to work with people that, you know, are willing to help each other, that are willing to teach everybody, that are asking for help, that, you know, give you the chance to participate. So be that person 
be the one that wants to help somebody else, like I was saying, that wants to teach somebody else. It doesn't matter how brilliant you are, how much do you grow. At the end of the day, you know, the years are gonna pass by and the people that are gonna remember you are the people that know that you make a change, that you you help somebody that, you know, and, and that's the thing that I, that I do as much as I can in, in social media, through my videos, through my games. I want to help people because I want to teach them. I want to basically tell them what my experiences are. Making games is really hard. Making an indie game takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of responsibility, a lot of changes in your life. And I really don't want to get emotional because I know this is a very emotional subject for a lot of, a lot of you, especially you guys that are, that are working on games day and night and you, there are days when you, you say, man, when am I going to finish this game? Or, or am I doing the right thing? Or, and what I'm here to tell you is that you are doing the right thing. It doesn't matter what somebody else say, make that dream of your ha you know, happen. If it's an idea that you had in your mind and you want to make it happen, make it happen. They're the only one that is stopping you from doing that is you. If you don't have time, make time. Talk to your family. Make sure that you are setting things in your calendar. Make sure that you're making time for your dreams because the worst thing that can happen is gonna to be too late and you won't have that time. So I'm here to tell you that I, I really want you to finish your game. If you have questions about that process, if you ever need somebody to tell you, you know, you, you, you gotta do it, you gotta fucking do it. And, and tell me because I'm gonna tell you that I'm, I'm, I'm super passionate about this the subject I'm passionate about making games and and that's really what I wanted to tell you in this video so if you have any questions let me know don't don't forget to you know send this video to somebody that you know that is working through a game that is working through an app and and they're burned out and and they're going through ups and downs because I've been there I done that I know exactly where you guys are going through so, and don't forget to share, don't forget to, you know, to subscribe to, to this video. So thank you again, guys. I appreciate your time.